Hey guys, Avery here with Skips Tactical Solutions. I'm coming to you today with a video on the 6.5 Grendel. I've received mine from Palmetto State Armory to do a review on. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I will be dropping a money saving tip when it comes to the 6.5 Grendel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified every single time that I drop a new video. And if you like what you see in this video, make sure that you smash that thumbs up and comment down below and let us know what you think about this video. So first let's talk about the 6.5 Grendel cartridge. This cartridge was released in 2004 by Alexander Arms and it was developed by putting a 6.5 millimeter bullet into a neck down 7.62 casing. And it was designed so that you would be able to use it on mid-size game out to 400 yards. The 6.5 Grindel is a very accurate round that's capable of sub MOA performance and additionally it's capable of supersonic flight well past a thousand yards which makes it a very good round for hunting. The 6.5 Grindel packs much more kinetic energy than the other AR-15 rounds and it, al it has almost four times the energy of a standard 223 cartridge and this makes it a great option for hunting for deer or hogs. All right, so today I'll be shooting Wolf Military Classic 100 grain. I got it right here. This is steel case ammo, and this is bulk surplus ammo that can be found for around 30 cents per round. And also, I will be shooting the Hornady Black. This is 123 grain ELD match, and you'll be able to find this for about 95 cents per round. I also wanted to add that when it came to me finding the 6.5 Grendel ammo, it was pretty much non-existent in my local area and I had to go online and when I looked online it was readily available. And I don't know about you but I definitely want to be able to go down to my local store and pick up ammo pretty quickly. Alright so when it comes to the magazine, the 6.5 Grendel uses a 6.8 magazine or a 6.5 magazine. All right, let's get on to the rifle. This is Palmetto State Armory's 18-inch 6.5 Grendel with a two-stage trigger. The barrel is stainless steel and it has a 1 to 8 twist rate with an adjustable gas block. And it also has a 15-inch lightweight M-lock handguard. It also comes with the Magpul STR stock and STR stands for storage type restricted. All right, next is Palmetto State Armory's Nickel Boron two-stage trigger. The first stage is two pounds, which is gonna bring you to the wall, and an additional two and a half pounds for the break, for a total of four and a half pounds. All right, so here is your first two pounds, which is your first stage. Then you have your break at the two and a half pound for a total of four and a half. Reset. Now let's get to my thoughts on this. I want to talk about a couple things and that's going to be the recoil and the ammo cost. But the first thing that I want to highlight is that I really enjoyed shooting this gun. When 
when it came to the recoil, the recoil was manageable. And when it came to the ammo cost, the ammo wasn't so expensive that it hurt my heart every time I had to shoot it. It grouped well and I was able to get 1 to 1.5 MOA performance. The gun cycled well, just make sure that you properly lubricate it as you should with all guns before taking them out. It was accurate with the Wolf as well as the Hornady Black. Now on to the money saving tip that I promised you at the beginning of the video. The 6.5 Grindel uses the same complete lower as your AR-15. So if you already have an AR-15, what you can do is take your AR-15 complete lower, add a complete 6.5 Grindel upper, and add a 6.5 magazine, and you have a weapon system. Now don't forget to smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below and let us know what you think. <laughs>